Hey guys, there's a huge video coming up. I've been filming it for the past couple of weeks of updating the truck. Upgrading vehicles is inexpensive if you do it yourself. Let's try out my uh, DeWalt DCF850 Frankenstein. Let's see if it can take off these lugs with a power stack battery. I want to thank Rough Country for sponsoring this video. Go check out their website, guys. If you thought about updating a Jeep or a truck, they actually have a perfect website for that. I thank you, Rough Country, so much for sending me foot fender flares. I've been filming for the past couple of weeks, so updating the truck. I did everything myself. I filmed it. And so I thank you, Rough Country, so much for sponsoring this video. We are also going to test out this Husky 6,000-pound lift capacity that I actually bought for $122. And it came with two jack stands. 122 bucks, not bad. And I also want to test out the DCF 850 Freak that I made. I want to see if this is legitimate enough to take off properly torqued lug nuts. This three ton light duty truck jack kit, like I said, was only $122. And so as you can see right here, $122. So this is a 6,000 pound lift capacity up to 13.1 to 21 inch lift range. Well, let's actually use this and jack this up and, and swap out some spacers. It has a one year limited warranty, 360 degree swivel saddle for solid uh, load contact, but I usually put a little piece of wood so there's a little bit of cushion. And remember, torque is certain stuff to specs, you guys. You need to. Don't ooga duga everything. All right, but let's see if this could actually take off 150 foot pound lug nuts. Heck yeah, I can. Like I said, I, I feel safe with that floor jack. The other floor jack I had, I did not feel safe. It stretched it to its, to its max. So I'm glad I got that floor jack for $122. Nice, right, so having trouble with that one. See if we can do the others. Yes, I can. It's having trouble with that one, and that's probably because the extension on it. Hey, but we tested it out. It was able to draw, take out lug nuts. I got a spacer in here already this is a 1.5 but i wanted a two inch so we are upgrading these i'm sorry i did forget to mention that i did buy these two inch rough country wheel spacers it is 90 dollars for a pair you do need two pairs to complete the vehicle i want to take these 1.5 inch wheel spacers off and go with a much more quality brand and the new rough country fender flares that i installed extended beyond Size. the 1.5 wheel spacers so i wanted to send the wheels to equal the fender flares a half inch and this stuff goes a long way and you make sure it's aligned and it's snug you always make sure it has a wheel hub right here that is very important you need a wheel hub you don't need these braking i trust that floor jack 130 foot pounds 130 foot pounds is not a lot of torque you guys Got it. Okay, we're gonna 
adjust this to 150 foot pounds. There we go. Everything is torqued down to specs and we're good. Not on a flat surface, it's a, at a slight angle of where I'm at, that's why I moved the truck. So I'm just being a little careful. So after the first 500 miles of installing these, you need to uh, go back and recheck them to make sure everything is still tight. Then after that, you should be good until uh, a couple thousand miles. So pretty much by the time you rotate your tires after the 500 miles. Then you put it to uh, torque specs. Then let's do this to specs. Nice and easy, look at that. Nice and easy. Not too shabby if you ask me. Not bad at all. As you can see that my tire now is more flush with the fender flare. And this one is indented, and this has a 1.5 uh, spacer in there. So what a difference between the two by a half inch. A lot better. So the new floor jacket did a phenomenal job. The tires look phenomenal with the new fender flares. And they're sticking out just enough to where they look good without looking a little bit overdone. And there will be more tool sales in the mix because they are right now setting up the Black Friday for my Home Depot. So that will be uploaded soon. Once again, go check out Rough Country. The link is in the description below. It actually is a fantastic website. So many accessories for Jeeps and trucks. It's actually incredible, and I love it. I also thank all the members of the channel for supporting the channel, and I thank you all for tuning in. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.